So in this video we are going to see how to write VHDL program for SR flip-flop. Before going to write the program we have to know what is meant by SR flip-flop. So SR flip-flop is nothing but it is an electronic device. It has a capacity to store either 0 or 1. right? And then so we can give a positive or negative clock pulse to retrieve the data from the device. right? So this is SR flip-flop, so it consists of three input SR and clock signal and then we are having the output Q and we can get the complement of this, right, right. So this is a truth table for this uh, SR flip-flop, so SR, so two inputs, so four possible combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and whenever we are giving the positive, it, uh, positive clock pulse so we can get the output from the device so when s is 0 and r is 0 so we are having no change and when s is 0 and r is 1 so r is what reset so the device is reset so it is 0 right and then uh, and then when s is 0 sorry when s is 1 and r is 0 and q is what 1 and then the complement will be what 0 and then when s is 1 and r is 1 it is invalid condition right so now we are going to write the program so first so we have to declare the library so library i triple e and then we are going to use all the inbuilt function so we have to write use i triple e dot standard logic 1164.org then after this we have to declare entity so entity name of the entity is and then so port so within this we have to list out all the input and all the outputs so yes our clock in and followed by data type and the outputs are what q and q bar so this is what out and then data type standard logic and we have to end the entity so sr ff right and then we have to declare architecture name of the architecture of and this for this entity so we have to write sr flip flop right and then we have to begin the architecture so begin and then so here we are having the condition so whenever the device detect the clock positive edge so then only the device will be activated right so we have to use process so whenever change in sr or r clock right so the most important thing is what clock so this is not necessary to include so we can if we include this is not uh, give, uh, th this will not provide any error right so we can give clock alone right so whenever uh, the device detect positive which then we have to get the output from the device right and then so we have to write begin and then if so we have to check the clock pulse so the clock pulse and also we have to check positive edge right so positive edge right so clock so if it is one and then also it is it uh, also it should be it should be positive edge right so event then so then we have to check at a check so we have to check if a s is zero and r is zero and if if uh, if a s is zero and r is one and if s is 1 and r is 0 and if s is 1 and r is 1 right so we have to check this so so if s equal to 0 and r equal to 0 then so then there is no change in our device so q equal to q and q bar equal to q bar else right so else again we are having one more condition right so again we are having the condition so we have to check if s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 then q equal to 0 q bar equal to not of q right and then else so else so again we are having next condition so we have to check this so s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 then then q equal to 1 and q bar equal to not of q right then again we have we are having one more condition so we have to so s equal to 1 and r equal to 1 right so then so then so then what q q is not invalid right so he q is invalid so we have to write like this right and then q bar equal to this right so it means not valid right 
and then so and then so we uh, and then we are not having any more conditions so we have to end the if statement right so this is what we are checking the condition for s yes and r right so that if condition is ended so we have to write end if and right and then so we have checked the clock pulse so for this also we used if right so that if statement should be ended so we have to write one more end if right and then so we have to end the process so we end process right and then we have to end the architecture so again name of the architecture right. hope you understand thank you